Do you know that your today is connected to your tomorrow? And that is why any man, anytime you are expecting glorious future, anytime you are expecting to have a good future, you must pay attention to what you are doing right now. Some people want to use God as a substitute for their iniquity. Some want to use fasting and prayer as a substitute for their iniquity, for their sins. And I want you to understand that God is a multiplier of whatsoever seed we planted in this life. God is not changing the seed you planted, but God will make sure that any seed you plant will germinate and bear fruit to you. That is to say, your today is a day of seed, your tomorrow is a day of harvest. So when you are busy living your life of it doesn't matter, living a careless life, remember that God is concerned to make sure that whatsoever you plant will germinate and will bear much fruit. That is why the book of Galatians chapter 6 verse 7 make us to understand he said to us that we should not deceive ourselves he said be not be, do not be deceived for god cannot be mocked for whatsoever a man so that god will make him to harvest and to reap in hundred folds so you must be very very careful for what you are doing now there is no how a farmer will plant corn and be expecting to harvest two bags of yam in the day of harvest every farmer must plant the kind of harvest he is expecting on the day of harvest so you cannot be living a careless life you cannot be living a life of it doesn't matter you cannot be living a life of iniquity and be expecting god through fasting and prayer to make your tomorrow to be blessed pay attention to what you are doing right now god is not exactly what many people call him that is to say live a life you like do anything you want to do at the end you use his name through prayer and fasting or probably through sowing of seed to shame this seed you sowed yesterday i am talking about the sowing of seed in the church or in the hand of any minister or in the hand of any ministry in the hand of any man of god in order to use it to shame the the lifestyle which was your seed of yesterday because you discover that you are expecting good things, you are expecting the good harvest, but you went ahead and so wrong seed. God makes sure that whatsoever you is planted shall germinate and will bear fruit. If you sow iniquity, God will make sure that it germinate and bear bountiful iniquity back to you. If you sow righteousness, God will make sure that it bear fruit and yield back bountiful harvest to you. If you sow good things, God will make sure that you harvest good things in abundance. If you sow wickedness, God will make sure that you harvest wickedness in abundance. God is a God of multiplication. He's a God that makes your seed to germinate and to bear fruit. Please, send this message to many people forward this message as you are watching it as you are hearing it let others also hear it and god bless you shalom